Okay, so lines and planes are actually one of the most common, common ones that we'll use. They just come up loads in the modeling questions that we talk about in the future. There are all sorts of things like we might call that this line here is, uh, we might model it in the future as like a pipe or like an electrical wire. And we want to know where will the pipe like hit the road surface or like where, what, where will we need to put the wire so that it can connect to a particular part of the machine at a particular place. Or that weird example I was saying about like a tent and things like that, and where, where are things going to cross each other. And actually, this is something that we would potentially think could be quite tricky. Um, but this is, um, this is actually pretty good. It's quite a pretty easy one to do here. So to find the point of intersection of the line L and the plane uh, pi, capital pi here, we've got the equation of this line, and we've got the equation of this plane that we've got. Now let's just think about what we've got here. The equation of the line. I want to say, what is a general point on the line? What's the general point of the line in a combined form, please? What would it be in a, just a single vector? It'd be, yep. Yep. OK, good. This is a point here. It could be 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 here. That's the one I'm interested in, though, right? I'm interested in that one that is there. Now, for the plane, I know that if I take a coordinate and I dot it with 1, 2, 3, I get the answer 4. So what do you think I can do here? I don't want to do x, y, z, because x, y, z could be, could be over here, it could be over here, it could be over here. I want to use the information that I've already got. Yeah, I want to use the information that they've just told me, which is this thing. I want to put this in here. If I put this in here, what I'm actually saying is I'm going to find out what value of lambda when I dot the whole, the general position vector of R, when I dot it with 1, 2, 3, that I get the answer for. It's going to give me the value of lambda here, which is the one that I really, really want to find out where it intersects, OK? So I'm going to put this, and I'm going to dot it, minus 1 plus lambda, 1 plus lambda, minus 5 plus 2 lambda. I'm going to dot it with 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to be make it equal to 4. So I've got one lot of it, which is minus 1 plus lambda. I've then got two lots of it. You have to make sure you multiply out carefully. Here I, can just, I might just dive straight in, because I can just multiply by 2 really easily. 2 plus 2 lambda, and then 3 lots of this, which is minus 15 plus 6 lambda, is equal to 4. And then we're just going to solve the equation and find out what lambda is. So I've got 6, 7, 8, 9 lambda, and then I've got minus 15. Well, let's add all. Let's just go straight to it. So we've got 4 plus 15, which is 19, plus the 1, which is 20. Take away the 2, which is 18, and so lambda is equal to 2, which means that the point where they intersect, what do I do with lambda being equal to 2? I just put it into there. So the point where they intersect is minus 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, and minus 5 plus 4, which is 1, 3, minus 1. And if they wanted that as a coordinate, 1, 3, minus 1. So the value there was lambda equals 2. So we know that if lambda was bigger than 2, it's going to be a point that's somewhere on the other side of the plane. If you then had a value of lambda being less than 2, it's on the other side of the plane. Now, here's something that I want to talk to you about that I, I don't think I've actually got in here. Not yet. Um, I want you to just have a think. What would happen uh, What does it mean if, when you do the dotting, if you came up with an equation like this?
if you came up with an equation like over here, right, and it looks something like this, I'm just going to make something up. It's not going to be for this question, but it's just going to be something else. So maybe you get something like uh, 3 plus 2 lambda plus 4 uh, minus 2 lambda. Hang on a sec. I'll just change that one. Plus 4 minus lambda plus 3 minus lambda equals 10. What do you think this might mean if you came up with something like this? What do you think we should, what can we do on the left-hand side, first of all? Zero. So you get zero lambda and you get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just get ten equals ten. What do you think that could possibly mean? The line is on the plane. Why, Sam? You're right. Why does that mean the line is on the plane? Good. Any value for lambda like, yeah. at this stage. 10 plus zero lambda. Yeah, this is like 10 plus uh, no lambda, 10 plus whatever. You can put anything for lambda, which means anywhere that you go along that line, it's on the plane. Okay? Anywhere that you go along the line, it is on the plane. Which means that it is like, it looks like this. Here's the plane. And here's the line. And every single point on the line is on the plane. That's if you get 10 equals 10 or 7 equals 7. Because who cares what the value of lambda is? It's on the plane. Right? What about, I'll do a different scenario now. I'll just do it in purple so it looks a little bit different. Sorry, I, I, I suddenly just thought about this as we were talking about it. What about if you came up with something and it looked like this? Um, we had something like... Uh, I'll do the same one, 3 plus 2 lambda plus 4 minus lambda plus 2 minus lambda equals 10. So we then get that 9 equals 10, which clearly it never intersects. There is no value of lambda that will ever make this true. So this means... Perfect. The plane and line never intersect. So they are parallel. I'll do a quick sketch of what that looks like. Plane, you've got to imagine this line like hovering above it. Don't intersect each other. So that might be like the floor is the plane and a laser that is just going parallel across. One more thing before we do some of these questions. If that line that is never going to intersect it, if we've said that they are parallel, how else could you show that this line and this plane, which is the floor here, how could we show that they were parallel to each other? So we've got the direction of this line here, which I'll just call direction here. How can I show that it's parallel to this plane? What, what features of the plane do we know about? We know about the normal. So we know that the normal and the direction, when you scale a dot them, it should be zero. Because if you think about what's happened, the normal is perpendicular to the floor. So if the line is perpendicular to the perpendicular, then it must be parallel to the floor. Because if I gave you a vector that was on the floor that was going at a different angle, like this, D and the direction on the plane are not parallel to each other. If you just imagine my arm here and then a vector on the floor that's pointing towards Sam and Locke, clearly my arm and the vector that's on the floor are not parallel to each other. However, my arm is perpendicular to the perpendicular, which means it is parallel to the plane. Okay? So I just wanted to mention that because... These are the kinds of things I've seen come up in some questions recently where they've asked you to say, show that the, you know, show that the plane and the line never intersect. You could either do this and come up with 9 being, not being equal to 10, or you could um, show that the normal is perpendicular to the direction. You would never be able to do it with the thing actually on the plane that I'd just drawn on there. So we're going to do some questions from exercise 9E. 
um, probably for like 20 minutes just to try some of them just in case there's anything that comes up from it and then we're going to do some shortest distances because I think it would be an advantage for us to, to get started on that before the end of the lesson.